Hey guys, this is Lawrence from buildmyecommerce.com and in this video, I'll be adding a product to both Shopify and BigCommerce and we'll look at the process of adding just a single product. I'll be adding a t-shirt and I won't be adding multiple products and I'll save that for another video. So let's jump right in. So we'll start with Shopify first. From Shopify Home, you can go to Product and then click Add Product. And here you can enter the title, description, and then a bunch of other settings here. So let's start from the top here. I'm going to type in T-shirt. And then for the description, I'm just going to copy and paste what I have here. And for the image, this is the product image. And you can just, uh, you know, drag in the image right in here from your desktop. And then for the price, I'm just going to enter $29. And you can also charge taxes on this product or not. And I'll go over taxes in another tutorial video. Let's scroll down. If you want to keep the inventory numbers in here, you can do that as well. And you can have uh, you can have Shopify keep track of the inventory, or if you do prefer to do it manually, or you, you have another method, you can click uh, you can check don't track inventory. And for shipping, you can enter the weight in here. And for the variant, is this is what we want. We want to add you know different sizes and colors, right, for the T-shirt. So click Add Variant, and it populated with size for the first one already. So I'm, I'm, I'm just going to enter S for small, and press Enter, M for medium, and then L for large. And then let's click uh, Add Another Option, and for the color, I'm going to enter orange, blue, and green. So one downside with Shopify is that you don't have color, you can't have color sw swatches shown. In order to do that, you would have to change the HTML code, or you can download, I believe, a plugin from their marketplace. It might be free, it might be not. I'm not 100% sure on that one. You can't really do it from right here. You have to edit the HTML code. As opposed to BigCommerce, which I'll show you later, you can actually add color swatches or texture or patterns in, inside uh, the swatch. So as you can see, it already populated with the price and with the different sizes and colors in here, so you don't have to do that. And here on the bottom, search engine listing preview. So here you can actually edit how it's going to show uh, from Google search. So if you go to google.com and search for any products, you know, this is how it will look like. So for some reason, you don't like how it's showing up by default in here. You can change the title of the product, uh, the description, and also how the URL is being shown. You can change that in here. For this video, I'm just going to leave everything as is. And let's scroll up. And let's click uh, Save Product. And let's click View to take a look at the product page. So here I have the product with my description here, with different sizes and different colors. Okay, so let's just see how this process works in BigCommerce. So from the BigCommerce dashboard, you can go to Products and then click Add. And then for the name, I'm just going to enter T-shirt. For the price, $29. And I'm just going to leave it at default text class. And let's also create a new category in here. I'm going to call it T-shirts. And then it's going to be under the uh, the men. That's going to be the parent category. And click Save. Okay, so you can, as you can see here, we have the T-shirt checked. So here you have physical product or downloadable product. We obviously want physical product for this video. So I'm just going to pick that one. And for the weight, I'm just enter 3 ounce. I have to enter the weight in here because if it's a physical product, they want you to put some kind of weight. You can't just leave it blank here. And then for the product description, I'm just going to 
copy and paste in here. And to add an image, let's go to the image tab. <clears throat> so as you notice, like in shop, uh, in BigCommerce, they have more options. Th I think that's going to be a common recurring theme where Shopify they tend to have just like the uh, the minimum to add a product to, so they can have your store up and running. As opposed to BigCommerce, they want to show you everything in you know, one product page. So right now they have you know you have access to different settings under the product page as opposed to Shopify. You know, it's pretty simple in terms of how they do things. You know, this is all you get for Shopify product page. And then this is what you get for BigCommerce. You have uh, obviously more options. It doesn't mean that Shopify is limited. You can obviously go to their marketplace and download plugins. And a lot of their plugins are free. To add a product image, you can do the same thing. Click and drag. Okay. And then once that's done, we can go to the options here to add uh, different colors and sizes. So they actually have a couple of presets that we can use. So one of, one of them here is called apparel. That's the one we want. And that will have both the size and colors. And if you want to create new option set, you can do that as well. So let me just click save for now. Okay. To add different options or create a new one, go to products and then go to product options so in here in product options you can create a new option set or you can change your existing option sets so let me just show you one thing for the colors uh, you know as I mentioned before you can add swatches in here which is nice also if you want to add like different pattern you can upload a different image pattern so for example uh, let's take a look at this Amazon product page here as you can see, they have a different thumbnails with the products. If you want to achieve the same result that you're seeing in here, obviously you can do the same thing in BigCommerce. All you have to do is choose patterns and upload the image. So let's now take a look at the product from the website that we uploaded just now. So let's go to dashboard. And then let's click uh, store icon. And let's go to men's and t-shirts. As you can see, we have the product in here added. Click on it to view. And we already have the different sizes in here with different colors. And then, then you can change the quantity here as well. So that's how you add products for both Shopify and BigCommerce. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and comment. And for my next video, I'll probably be adding multiple products. So until next time, take care guys.